Hey guys, hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play, or should I say, another replay, and my god, if that bloody music doesn't give me the most extreme case of nostalgia that I could probably comprehend right now, and I would try to explain that nostalgic feeling to you, but I don't think there are words capable of such a feat. Now, one May, nine years ago, I decided to have a go at this Let's Play thing. Little did I know that um, nearly ten years later, I'd still be doing this. Strange. And we started with a game called Clock Tower, which I have a hell of a lot of nostalgia for. This game is actually pretty good and it was one of my earliest memories uh, of a horror game on the PlayStation 1. I remember uh, we rented this game, my brother and my stepbrother, one weekend I believe. And we sat down and we played it to death and I cannot even put into words how awesome that weekend was and I actually played this game quite a bit uh, you know through that time and I think it's fitting to go back and play this now I, for some reason uh, I know we're in October uh, but for some reason I've had a hankering to play this game again to see uh, if I still enjoy it as much as I did then now my first let's play of it I think I was using this, I can't even remember, like, the microphone that I was using, man. It was just some, I w I'm not going to say Poundland, because it wasn't a Poundland microphone, but it was this 3.5mm uh, microphone that I had bought from uh, a computer shop at the time that I remember I sellotaped to a... Uh, flask I believe at the time and that is how that is what I was using and my god you know funny enough loading this game up again and having a quick play around with it man it's brought back some serious unbelievable memories um, I did Google my well Google I did search on my page uh, my YouTube page uh, when we actually first did this game and yeah May that in May in 2012. That feels like a lifetime ago, you know? So much has changed since then, but we did play Clock Tower 2 uh, not a humongous amount of time ago. At least it doesn't feel that long ago. It's probably years ago. Uh, every, every game that I think of, um, you know, to me feels like a few weeks ago. Uh, now, Clock Tower 2, or Clock Tower 3, I guess you could say, was, well, there's no other way of putting it, a big steaming pile of dog shit. That game was so bad. Um, and all the reviews said it as well. I played some shitty games on this channel just because I, I, it entertains me. Sometimes it's fun to scrape the bottom of the barrel and pull up a big old piece of shit. And, well, let's not get too vulgar with that. But, you know, sometimes it is entertaining playing a shitty game. Uh, the last one we played was um, Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. No, that was the good one. It was Alone in the Dark 2008. That was awful, and and worst case scenario happened with that. I had to play that through twice. Ugh. But uh, this game, although it has a lot in in common with the second game, it is far superior. Um, the enemies and the fighting in this, what little there is of that, is way more manageable. The way the uh, levels are laid out are better, and this. this the music is better even like the movement and stuff like that and the way uh, you can actually get around um the certain bad nick in this game is just so much better now there are a lot of endings to this game as well <sighs> there's 10 endings to this game yeah unfortunately like a lot of the endings are kind of the same thing from what i can remember 
uh i haven't decided yet whether we're going to go for all the different endings or if we're just going to go for the two best endings uh, because there's two characters we can play as as well and each character has five endings uh, as for secrets in this game there's not really a lot we can find hints that are dotted around the levels uh, I guess maybe we'll go for those. I'm not really sure. They don't really do anything, to be honest. They just drop a very vague, very cryptic hint. Well, some more vague and cryptic than others, I suppose. But um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go back into this game. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Emulation has come a long way since uh, we played that back on my uh, what was that? My AMD uh, AMD Phenom x4 oh jesus that quad core uh cpu which was pretty much not exactly fantastic uh when we had it and of course recording that game using fraps to my mechanical hard drive which was actually my system disc at the time as well man <laughs> how times have changed now jesus okay having a dedicated uh recording drive and using the much more efficient OBS with a with a beastly 16 core CPU, uh, 16 thread CPU, I should say, 8 core, 16 thread. Yeah, things things have moved along, so this is going to be interesting. Now, I have noticed that there is one thing this emulator doesn't seem to handle very well, and that is the first like 10 seconds. Uh, there is a weird wavy effect which we will see in a minute. The em this emulator doesn't like that, and I don't know why. Uh, but once we get past that, it's, it's you know, everything's gravy, baby. So, we're going to go new game. Oh, this just, everything about this game, to me, is so fucking nostalgic. I cannot explain it. Even this, just that menu sound. There's something really chilling about it. And the fact that there's no uh, background music. A lot of this game doesn't have background music. And it's so atmospheric and i really like it anyway let's go new game and let's get into this let's take a big old bite of this sandwich so prologue yeah this bit runs like ass to the point where i can't even fast forward this because this emulator has a fast forward uh, ability but i can't even fast forward it so we're just gonna have to grin and bear it this should be playing smoothly and funny enough i think on the original emulator that we played this on it did run smoothly uh so not really sure what's happening here the fps on my uh obs counter is going all over the place here which is fun so we have two main pro protagonists who who uh we can potentially play as so we have jennifer and helen jennifer is the 15 year old girl she is the survivor of the first game because uh, some people don't realize this is not the first clock tower game technically this is the second clock tower game the first clock tower game was on the uh super nintendo it only came out in japan there are now fan translated ROMs of that, which maybe, just maybe, we'll check out because that's supposed to be a pretty good game. So this game starts off as straight after those, from what I can understand. Come on, emulator, catch up. What on earth are there you we go. Doing, professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. <laughs> oh man, I these visuals. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. Oof. So basically, Professor Barton is reminding her that uh, if she continuously in interferes with his neglect of his patients, 
um, she will possibly be losing her job. So she needs to remember where her loyalties are, really. Uh, are her loyalties with this heavily traumatized child or are they to the paycheck? Not an easy decision to make, to be honest, especially in such financial times as these. But there we go. Uh, Professor Barton has has laid his personality out. So here we are. We are playing as the Professor. Now, what do we have in this room? So there's been some murders, and Helen is the one of two survivors of said incident. Curious. Okay. Well, hmm. There is a faint smell of ammonia. Why is that? What are you doing in here, Professor? Nothing good, that's for sure. Well, we have something over here. A giant pair of scissors. They are a, rep a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. All right, settle down there, Professor. You're getting way, way too excited about those scissors. All right, I'm, I'm starting to to point my hairy eyeball in your direction, to be honest. That, that was a bit sus, uh, as the kids say these days. Uh, now, this here should have hint one. Uh, I can't search it because I found it earlier. So, yeah, that, that's a little bit disappointing. Maybe I'm not going to continue saving as I'm playing off camera. Maybe not. All right, fair enough. Prof, let's keep examining this room. The Clock Tower Murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How? Intriguing. Jennifer Simpson, only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. Wait, are we trying to profile the Clock Tower murderer? All right. Scissor Man, I believe he's called. Hmm, seems like a dangerous game. All right, can we also talk about what a ponce this guy looks like? He's Not only is he an arrogant arsehole, he really is dressed like a bit of a ponce. I don't know if that's a... He's wearing a turtleneck, isn't he? Yeah, definitely an Apple fanboy. Anyway, let's go. My laboratory. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology. Research. Well, okay. Hmm, the staff are still here. Bastards. So I guess we're in charge. These guys are on our payroll. And I don't think he's the type to happily fork over overtime hours. Alright, well, who's this uh, young lady here? Beth, Professor. Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Might be because I just threatened her with a job. Hmm... All right, interesting. Can we talk to you again? You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? Uh, that's kind of weird. I guess that's what happens when you live together. Really? One mustn't get their personal feelings get in the way. Mm -hmm. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Oof. All right. Yes, yes, you're right. Ah, this uh, Professor Burton's quite interesting. Um, starting to get a bit of a Wesker feeling from this guy. So anyway, what have we got here? A statue. It is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the Clock Tower murders. Seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Yeah, okay. Something very nostalgia, uh, nostalgia, nostalgic about the sound effects in this room as well. You know, hearing that um, printer going away. Ah, oh, man. Helen's desk. Was he? Is he? Okay, it almost looked like he was like trying to touch the seat there. Okay, I don't like this professor. He's a bit of a strange chap. Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. Barton. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Yeah, alright, well I'm sure he'll be back. Who are you? Danny. Professor, a news reporter is here. 
Did you have an appointment for an interview? Well, I guess we do now. It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Ugh. I guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't even exist. You sure, Professor? Scissor man. It'd be cool if he were real. Huh? Uh, mm, just a joke. Yeah, it uh, would be cool if he's real. Uh, dude, Danny, my man, come, take a seat. Uh, now, be careful what you wish for, dude, because, you know, bad things can happen. Especially with serial killers that like to walk around with a pair of scissors, you know? I, and I don't mean your, your, your safety scissors that you'd find in a, in, a, in a little kindergarten or something. No, no, no. No, these are some pretty fucked up, vicious... Um, garden shears. And you better believe the son of a bitch knows how to use them. Scissor Man's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops, and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. Yeah, Barton's a bit of a prick, as we can see here. People certainly buy stupid things. These are very popular. Okay, this is one in every... You know, one in every ten people buy these? Is it one in five people around here buy these? Is every other person walking around with these? I don't know. But apparently it's a very popular item. Noted. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. So we're in the hallway. And there's a really weird ambience in this hallway. Sounds like there's a bird here or something. I'm not sure. Ah, Harris. What are you doing here? Uh, oh, Professor. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you. Hmm, is Jennifer? She's already gone home. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Yeah, she's, uh, I like, uh, uh, no. He's always so gloomy. Yeah. He's top notch, though. That's for sure. But then... But then what, Barton? What? Now, bear in mind Jennifer's 15 years old. Uh, keep that in, in, in your mind. With certain things that happen in this game with certain characters. Anyway, let's go to the first floor because apparently we've got some news reporters who want to stick their nose into our business. Now, this might be a bit of a shorter episode. Yeah, so we can get the ball rolling, and I'm going to upload this the second I've finished recording it as well. Nolan. Oh, Professor. I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Then I'll get right to the point. I like the way... Tim's going straight at it with his camera, or it could be holding an assault rifle. I don't know what Tim's doing, but, uh, I mean, well, well, I guess he's doing something. Uh, have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? Well, obviously. That would be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. Hmm, I'm sure you did, vultures. You said her testimony lacks credibility I know what you're going to say but that monster she was talking about the scissor man and whether he really exists or not that's it that's right that's what our readers want to know because the existence of the scissor man has become a symbol of terror amongst youngsters oh my Yes, and that's because of trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch! That hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? 
Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's a fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. So we're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? What did she say? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There's something I must be attending to. Ah, uh, well... Okay, I understand. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. Fuck off, guys. Barton is not interested. Uh, so, I'm expecting another survivor of the Clock Tower murders. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be a young boy, about 10 years old. Well, that's interesting, because I think Jennifer was the only survivor. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Right, well, let's go back to the second floor. Yeah, so this uh, Barton guy, he's definitely a piece of work. He's a very unlikable character. Uh, okay. Alright, let's head back in. Let's go see what happens. Right. So, let's talk to Mr. Harris. The professor. The boy that survived the clock tower. Murders us here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yeah, he's waiting in the therapy room. Uh, cool stuff, I suppose. Is there something I can do for you? Maybe there is, Harris. Maybe there is. Right. Now, remember when we spoke to this guy in the hallway? We kind of had a decision of how many times we spoke to him. We spoke to him twice. That means we're going to be playing as Jennifer. If we spoke to him once and moved on, Helen would be our main uh, protagonist. So, But because we spoke to him twice, we're going to be playing as Helen in this run. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on the statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows Mansion named Rick. Hmm. I'll show it to him first, see if he knows anything. So, I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Now we get another big decision in the game. So we can ask Harris whether he wants to take the statue to see uh, Rick. Or we can say no and go with Sullivan. Let's go see Rick. Alright, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, would you take the statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good. Thank you. Good lad. Okay, that's it. I should probably go to the therapy room. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, Harris. Don't die on your way, will you? Although, I suppose if he does die, that's one less person on payroll. So, what do we have here, then? Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Edward? I thought he completely lost all of his memory. Well, that's sus from the shock does he remember his name no i call him edward 
because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Yeah, I'm sure it would. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Uh, yes. Well then, let's get started. And that's the end of the first chapter. So we're going to save. I would drop save data one. Now I've already made um, the save state on our first ch uh, choice, so we could always come back anyway. Jennifer, I think I will go out for a while. Yes, because Helen's not going to be here for a while, so Jennifer decides to go out and mingle around town. Where should I go? Well, Jennifer. You're not going anywhere for now because we're at the end of the video. So, yeah, this is interesting. I'm already enjoying this quite a bit, actually. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy this along with me. So, when we come back, I guess we're going to go hit the town, have a little look around, and maybe get murdered. Who knows? So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.